Do you want to know how to program on Tron? Then this video is for you. In this video, I will show you how, with Solidity, you can build and deploy contracts to the Tron testnet using Tron's tools. Because if you are an Ethereum or Solidity developer and you already know how to code on Ethereum using Solidity, you can use your exact same skills to deploy smart contracts to Tron. So why would you like to do that? I don't know. Maybe you get an offer for a job or a huge paycheck to program something for Tron and you don't know how to do it. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you know how to program on Ethereum, you know how to program on Tron. So let's get into it. But first of all, I need to remind you, of course, to go to academy.ivanontech.com if you want to invest in yourself. The best investment you can do is in knowledge and in yourself. And that is exactly what we offer over at the Ivan on Tech Academy. You can learn about Bitcoin, about Ethereum, how it works under the hood, how you program smart contracts, how you program on Ethereum, EOS, NEM, uh, how you should structure your blockchain business, what is actually a good blockchain business. Now you also can learn how to program games using Ethereum. We have our Ethereum game programming course. So click the link in the description and enroll today. With that being said, we're going to open up the tool that we're going to use to program on Tron. And this is called ARIA. And if you want to um, follow with me, you need to go to aria.city. And I will leave the link in the description. But you want to go to aria.city. It is spelled R-A-R-J-I-A. And then you want to click on Editor. And first, we can actually click up in the corner here on Wallet. And you need to click on Request Testnet TRX. So we need to get some uh, testnet coins and there we have our testnet wallet. It is ready. We have a balance here and with the balance we can deploy contracts. So that is what we want to do. This looks a lot like Remix of course and that's because it is the same programming language. It works the same. So this will remind you a lot of Remix. On the left here you can create your files and we're going to create hello world that's all and we're going to change the Solidity version up here to 0 0.5.0. Uh, and from here on, it's exactly the same as any other Solidity contract. So contract, hello world. And we're going to have a string. It's going to be called. It's going to be public and we'll call it message. You know, you know how to do this by now. I don't need to. Let's have a constructor. It's also public. And here we'll set the message equal uh, hello. And then we're going to create a function here. We're going to create a function called update, which takes a string a memory and it's going to be called message and it's going to be public. And in here we'll set message equal to underscore message. This will update the state variable message. And since this is public, we already have a getter for it. So we don't need to do a getter function. With that being said, let's see if we Everything is correct with the compile button up here. Compilation finished. Now we're going to click up here, select contract, hello world.sol, hit deploy, name the contract. This you can just leave. Deploy. In a little while here, you will receive success in your receipt status. And now if you, let's see here, do we click on the contract? Click on functions. No. Not there. I think we can just close this. Well, we can copy the address. Maybe we need that. But we can go to contract functions. And let's see if we can input the contract here. And here we can interact with our contract. So we could uh, get the message function. Well, we should be able to get the message. And let's see if we can update it. Can we update it to hello, Philip? Then let's see if this works. It happened. Yes. Look at that success. We have it here as well. That works. But this doesn't work. I don't know why that doesn't work. So apparently, the Tron um, aria.city online IDE doesn't seem to work that well. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but if you uh, are a Tron expert, please leave a comment underneath this video and I would love to hear what I did wrong so that I can get my getters to work as well because apparently only my setter functions 
work. So please leave a comment and help me out here. And you can also go ahead and try Tron programming if you enjoy it. With that being said, dislike this video if you disliked it. Like this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.